Alright then gang, so we saw in the last video that we could add a new chapter from this form right here. When we did that, HTMX sent that post request to the Laravel backend and Laravel responded with an updated fragment of this chapter list. So we see it down here, which is awesome, that's working. But it would also be nice if this module closed automatically. Yes, we could click over here to close it and that would work, but it would be nice after we've created that chapter, we've sent the post request, that it automatically closes. Now, previously, when we closed the module this way, we manually sent a request to that close modal route that we made, right? And it sent back an empty string, which we injected into the modal. But this time, we're already sending a post request to a different route to actually add the chapter to the database. So we need to do this a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is send back now multiple fragments. We're gonna send back this fragment right here, the chapter list, so that gets updated, and also a second fragment, which replaces the content inside the modal, so it gets hidden again. Now, in conjunction with using those multiple fragments, we'll also be replacing the content using something known as an out-of-bands swap in HTMX. So, first of all, what is an out-of-bands swap in HTMX? Well, it's a way to render response content outside of the specified swap target where the response content has the same ID as the content it's swapped with. So, for example, imagine we're making a post request from that modal and as well as sending back the updated list of chapters, which gets swapped into the chapter list, we also want to send back maybe an empty modal template, which is just that div with an ID of modal. Well, if we send that template back as well, then currently it would just get output in the same place as the new chapter list content, because we specify that target using the HX swap attribute from where we actually make the post request, right? So, any response content that comes back from this post request goes automatically into the target that we specify, and that is the chapter list. But we wouldn't want that empty modal to be there. We'd want to replace the current modal in its current position in the DOM so that all the content inside the modal is then just replaced with that empty modal one. And that would mean that it would just close, right? So we can do that using an out of bands swap. So first of all, we need a way to send that modal div back. And to do that, we can send back multiple fragments in response to the post request. To begin with, let's make that fragment, the modal one, in the chapters index page beneath the other fragment that we've already made. So then to do that, let's scroll down here at the bottom. And then after this fragment, we're gonna create a new fragment. So at fragment, we're gonna give this a name of modal. And then inside here, we want to output that same div. So let's go back to the outline page where we have that. I'm gonna grab it and come back to the chapters index and I'm gonna paste it right here. And then we need to end the fragment, right? So then, now we have two fragments, the modal one and also the chapter list one. And we wanna send both of those fragments back now from the controller. So let's do that. Let's go back to the chapter controller and we can just come to where we send back a fragment right here. And instead of sending a single fragment, we can use the fragments method to send back multiple ones. Now, when we do that, they have to be inside an array. So let's put square brackets around this like so. And then the second element down here is going to be the name of the other fragment, which was modal. All right, so now we're sending back two fragments. And before we do anything else, let's just try this out in the browser. All right, so let's try this. If we try to add a new chapter, any old chapter doesn't really matter. I'm gonna create this and well, the chapter gets added. This still hasn't closed. However, I can no longer click on this. It's not working, but if I inspect and I go down here, we should see that we have the dashboard, right? The original modal container's there, but if we open up the dashboard, and we go inside here to where the chapter list is, we can see another modal, right? So that modal is being sent back. We're now sending back multiple fragments, but they're being rendered one after another, the chapter list first, then the modal. What we want now is to use an out of band swap to make it so that this modal right here replaces this modal and it doesn't get rendered here. So then this is where the out of bands attribute comes into play to say that we want to make an out of band swap. Now to do that, we just need to use the HX hyphen swap 
hyphen OOB attributes and we're going to set the value of that to be true and now when this fragment gets returned to the browser because we've marked it as out of bands it's going to replace the current modal with that same id and it's not going to get rendered with the chapters list with the rest of the content and because the modal will then be empty it's going to be hidden by the css so let's give this a whirl all right, so now let's try adding a new chapter. I'm going to enter in a chapter title. And when we click on create down here, hopefully now two things are going to happen. It's going to render the new chapter list with the new content and that chapter is going to appear at the bottom. But also hopefully it's going to send back that other fragment. We're going to have the outer band swap. It's going to empty the modal content. And because there's no content inside the modal, the CSS will hide it. So fingers crossed, create chapter. Yep, that all works. Awesome. So now we are hiding the modal using a combination of multiple fragments and the outer bands swap. 